Howdy folks, got another clean water instructional video. Today we're going to program the Bluetooth 5900 and so we're going to take off the uh, helmet cover first and get that out of the way. I'm going to plug it in. You got three ports to plug it in, P, B, and S. You're always going to use P, which is the one furthest away from the valve. It's also the only one that the plug fits into. Turn it on, it'll say the computer revision code, then it'll start flashing between the time of day and the number of days between regeneration. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to program the clock time and the menu options that are on that side. And to do that, we're going to press and release the menu enter button. And we notice that the whole clock time starts flashing. To change each of the digits, press the set change button. The first place will uh, start flashing by itself. Adjust it to whichever minute of the hour that you want it to be set at. Hit the menu enter button. Skips over to the next digit. Again, do the same thing. Menu enter button. Go ahead and do the hours. It's all flashing, you're confirming, okay, I want it set for 324. Go to the next screen, choose 324 AM or PM. We got AM and PM, I left it on PM. Hit the menu enter button. This is how many days that it's gonna backwash. Recommended setting for an iron filter is at once every four days, so we're gonna leave that setting alone. And this is the air draw function. Sometimes when you're starting, and you'll read more about this in the guide, you're going to want to actually disable this for the first uh, week or so of use. Uh, you're not going to use the air draw, and then you're going to turn it on a little bit later. But right now, the air draw is set at its normal setting of once every night. It'll replenish the head of air once every night. So we go back, we add our clock time, and again, it's going back and forth between the clock time and the number of days remaining until backwash. Now, we're going to press and hold both buttons and that'll enter us into the master programming. First thing we're going to see is R for regeneration or what time it's going to start doing a backwash. Right now we have it set at 12 a.m. If I want to change it, I can change the a.m. to the p.m. I'm going to leave it at a.m. I can change the clock time and the whole hours. I'm going to do mine. I'm going to go all the way back around again. It only goes in one direction. I'm going to go and set mine at 2 a.m. That's kind of the standard time. Go on to the next setting. The first cycle step is automatic. It lasts six minutes. That's the air release step. The second step is for 10 minutes, and that's the backwash step. So we're going to leave the default programming the way it is, and we're going to go to the next step. Step number three is a rest step, and that's just the bed calms down between the next cycle, and we're going to leave that at five minutes. So we're going to go ahead and press the menu enter button. Step four is the air draw, and it is default at 12 minutes. Again, read in the guide, uh, when you start the system up, you'll have this at zero at first, but then you'll put this at 12 minutes, and you can increase it up if needed. And we'll go to the next one. Five is uh, the rapid rinse cycle, and we want that set at six minutes. I think actually on the valve, it's defaulted at 10 minutes, so you'll have to change it to six minutes. So... Next one is J, and I've got it set at zero, 00. I know the default on this is zero, 02, and that's for the chlorine draw, which we'll go into discussion in another video. Uh, but for right now, if you're not using the chlorine draw, you'll set it to zero, 00. And this is the Bluetooth enabled. If you're not using the manual interface like we are, and we go on and get your legacy app downloaded and do all that, then the Bluetooth enabled is now it's enabled and the Bluetooth uh, password is where you'll enter your password. Right now it's displaying a default password of 1234. And hit it one more time and you're back out of it. If you don't hit any buttons for a while, it'll back out of the programming also. That's all folks, thanks.